This is the foundation of our next generation platform, PlayStation 4. Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and like I said before, I was going to cover the new um, announcement by PlayStation that they were holding in New York City. Uh, everyone knew that it was going to be up with PS4, they never really said it was, but they did announce the PS4 at the very end of the... Um, the announce uh, of the the whole like event they finally said it's going to be released in the uh holiday season 2013 which goes along with reports uh about a day ago that were saying that it was going to be released in november 2013 now uh besides the early reporting about the release date and the end of the event where they announced that it would be released holiday 2013 i believe it was somebody from square enix that the uh some guy who was in charge of the final fantasy or somebody somebody kind of released the information a little too early and they mentioned, oh, then this new game will be out this holiday or something like that, or 2013, or this year, I think they said. So it was like, oh, okay. So obviously the PS4 is going to be released this year, uh, assumingly the holiday season, and that's exactly what it was. Uh, other than that, they showed off the new controller, which is exactly what I reported on uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it's a little bit more slimmed down now with, with uh, you know, than what we saw before because what we saw before was clearly a prototype this is actually the official controller and it was indeed a touch pad on the front of the the controller not a touch screen um i mean they really didn't announce much they they did a lot of had a lot of improvements with the new playstation network there's you know more friends more profile based uh, there's a lot of sharing with social networks facebook ustream there's a there's a lot of that stuff in connect uh, you know connectivity and and that's all cool and fun and stuff but what I personally wanted to know more about was the console itself and they never showed what the console looks like so that was a little disappointing for me but they did show a lot of cool games Killzone Shadowfall looks fucking incredibly badass I've never played a Killzone game before but that game looks awesome there's another game Drive Club that was shown right afterwards I'm not a big fan of racing games and that and eh, wasn't my thing but I could appreciate it for what it was. Uh, the other game that did stand out to me was the new Watch Dogs game. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it was really, really cool looking. Uh, a lot of, like, information in the game. Like, you, you sort of, like, can see people's backgrounds. You have all this, like, crazy, like, intelligence information. Anyway, it was really cool. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought if you watched the announcement. I mean, it was, what was it? It started at 3. It's now 5.20. It ended probably 10 minutes ago. It was a long event, and I was waiting to see the console the entire time, and was disappointed in that in that sense. But uh, the rest of it, I mean, the graphics on the thing looks really good. I mean, a lot of what they showed, well, there was a lot of cutscenes, but there was a lot of um, in-engine gameplay, which I really appreciated that they did show that because a lot of times game companies will show some some uh, cutscenes, but us gamers have sort of, you know, caught on to that and we're like, all right, we don't really give a shit because it's a cutscene. Let's see some real gameplay. What the, does the engine look like? Capcom also showed a new engine that they're using for their new games. Um, but anyway, yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the announcement, what you guys thought about the whole event as a whole. Uh, Twitter was blowing up. My, you know, my whole Twitter feed was blowing up. Everybody was talking about it. And uh, But yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.